Ladies and gentlemen, today, the day has come where the Alpha 2 servers open up for the second weekend in a row, giving us loads of fixes, loads of changes that I've been going over for the week, and there is one more patch that just hit the PTR before these servers go live in probably three to four hours, depending on when you watch this video. But today's PTR update on November 1st fully implements the Sweat of Your Brow quest at Samaya's Hope, fixed issues with Sweat of Your Brow requiring fuel for some steps, which is a bug that I believe was introduced during the PTR this week. They adjusted map markers for the sweat of your brow quest so they line up with the actual location they adjusted the horns of betrayal event radius they improved performance close to winstead and mirrorlith they fixed multiple animation related crashes and fixed multiple server crashes fixed multiple client crashes added additional line hold sentry guards near the new line hold ember spring respawn shrine to prevent spawn camping because they moved where the ember spring is you'll have to find that when you get into the game later today they also fixed an issue allowing for the fishing commission to be completely indefinitely and rework hair appearances at different distances so my vec hair will hopefully not stick straight up into the air anymore like it's been doing even though that's rather hilarious to watch if you missed it well at the end of this video you'll find these two videos popping up where you could check out the remaining patch notes for the rest of the week i was going to do a video putting them all in one place but right now they're really disorganized so i'll do better at that next week um so i'm just giving you the absolute latest updates on what intrepid has given us if you didn't know the alpha 2 servers have been slightly delayed so they're coming on today at 3 p.m pacific time which is 6 p.m eastern time i'll be streaming live twitch.tv forward slash richie sh tonight at 8 p.m. if you want to tune into that we're gonna have fun we're gonna do some crafting and all of that stuff but yeah i am very impressed on this past week of how fast intrepid has been able to respond to changes make fixes and implement new content for those people jumping into alpha 2. i know they've said in the past that immediate fixes are going to happen like as soon as they possibly can and then you're going to minor patches every three weeks and major patches every six weeks this is what i imagined the minor patches every three weeks to be this amount of content we've had in the last week so seeing this in less than a week is absolutely insane to me it makes me wonder what the small patches every three weeks are going to entail because if this isn't even considered small changes i don't even want to know what the three week changes are actually i do want to know because it's going to be pretty insane obviously right now intrepid is going through crunch time they're working overtime they're working really hard to get this stuff in and get the fixes so people can actually get into the game and test it so kudos to them because i mean it's been great it's been great seeing them respond to the feedback and we're only a week in it's just gonna get better with the Alpha 2 servers being delayed, though, somebody did ask Steven if we can expect an extended test this week since they had to cut it short last week, and now it's being pushed back and delayed this week again. And Steven did say if everything goes smooth this week, well, they might consider extending the testing, which would be pretty awesome, and it might give a new audience the opportunity to jump in and see the game live or actually play it, who maybe haven't been available for this past weekend. Maybe they work weekends or something. I don't know. But if that happens well i'll be streaming monday too but that it's just goes to show you how much intrepid actually cares about this project and cares about people's opinions and is listening to the community and it's just again we're just getting started and i can't wait to see where this goes